is actually the point where the Indians and the dinosaurs had the first Thanksgiving. See, this is one of the things I'm excited about Utah for, is everywhere I go, there's like cool places that I want to go check out with my family when they get here. Driving down south right now, there's a place called Thanksgiving Point down here that I heard is pretty, pretty good, pretty popular, so I'm going to go uh, check that place out. I've noticed that the roads here are a lot more like bumpy and footage is really bad when I'm driving. So. I'm, I'm trying not to do driving videos so much anymore, but the problem is that's, that's like all I do. I just keep getting all these video ideas to do, you know, with the kids and once the family gets here. It just kind of sucks right now because it feels like the videos that I like I can do right now are just kind of like, they're just kind of redundant, kind of just the same stuff over and over again. Everywhere I go, I just get new ideas and things that I think are gonna be cool to do, you know, as a family and things to do when everybody's here and cool videos to make and places to go, places to check out. So I'm just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm excited for that and excited for videos and content to, to get better. Check it out, there's like a little farm thing going on here too, like got some chickens and kids and stuff. Oh cool, looks like there is a dinosaur museum too, over here. So this is Thanksgiving Point. Kind of reminds me of that Warner Brothers, like uh, Looney Tunes Tower. Looks empty. I think they call it Thanksgiving Point because this is actually the point where the Indians and the dinosaurs had the first Thanksgiving. That's not true. That's only partly true. But if I was a tour guide, that's what I would tell people. Photo pass required. Whoops. Well, I guess it doesn't say vlogging pass required, so <laughs> I got you there. Looks like we got an outdoor tent they could set up right there. Pretty decent size. Probably fit like, I don't know, like 150, 150 people there maybe. So it looks pretty sweet. It looks like a pretty sweet venue, but um, my only concern is that it looks like they're sectioned off. Like there's different areas where maybe they could have multiple weddings at the same time. The problem with that is that usually if someone's going to put out the money to pay for a, a DJ at their wedding, they're going to want you to be loud and have dance music and stuff. They're not going to want you to have loud dance music at a wedding when there's another wedding 100 yards away. So I don't know if they do that kind of stuff. It's kind of a little bit of a concern, but at least I'll go find out. So that went all right. We'll see how it goes. It seems like a really high-end venue. It seems really expensive, but I don't know if that'll be a great venue for what I do kind of thing, so we'll see. You never know until you go and find out. I'm uh, gonna head back now and go, I'm gonna go try to do some contacting online, try to do some online marketing right now. My brother lives out here, and I asked, uh, I, I asked if I could stay out there before, and it didn't work out because he didn't have enough room. My brother has a lot of people that stay with him it seems like, but uh, one of the rooms opened up, somebody moved out, so I'm able to stay in his basement now, so that's nice. So now I don't have to camp out in the camper van, which is kind of, which is kind of creepy. Kind of get creepy looks from people when I'm driving it because it's like an old, old camper van. Reminds me of Uncle Rico on uh, Napoleon Dynamite. I don't know if you can see it too well, but so that's that's the uh, lagoon, an amusement park. That's another place I think. That's another place I'm excited to uh, take my family. Looks like there's some pretty cool things to do there, and 
I looked into it, and and you can get a season pass at Lagoon for a hundred bucks, which I think is crazy. That's that's nuts because you would. That's like one day at Disneyland. So for what you would pay for one day at Disneyland, you could get into Lagoon for a whole season. You can get a whole season pass at Lagoon. My goal was to get my family out here, moved out here by the end of June. And I'm really hoping that works out. I really am looking forward to summer here. Like that's my focus right now is I'm focusing on having an awesome summer and all the things we're gonna do together you know once we're once we're out here and if if things don't work out and if it just drags on and on and we're just not quite there yet and you know they're not able to come out here by July or it takes if it takes if it takes longer than that that's not an option like I can't miss I can't miss a summer, I can't miss a whole summer and be away from my family for a whole summer. That's just, that just can't work. Like a whole summer is just too, too precious. I can't, I can't sacrifice, you know, I could sacrifice, I could sacrifice two months knowing that it's gonna be over and that by the end of June they could be out here but I can't sacrifice the whole summer, that's too much. That's my motivation right now. I have to work as hard as I can and keep thinking of new ways to make money and to you know pile more cash and get them out here as, as soon as I can.